What is up, everybody? It's your boy, Win the G, and today, today, we're gonna be checking out some of the funniest moments from Stan Smith and American Dad. Let's get it. Through this door, giants, square jaws, stiff collars, brave hearts pumping thick red blood through strong American veins. God, I'm getting a boner. They'll understand, what? Though. What? <laughs> what? What? Hold on. Hold on, y'all. Red blood through strong American veins. God, I'm getting a boner. They'll understand, though. They'll see it as a sign of respect. <laughs> Whoa! Enumerators! Mount up! What is this? What am I looking at here? All right. <laughs> Oh, it's so hard for me to not just burst out laughing. I got to hold it back. But, uh, <laughs> yo, <laughs> oh, my God. Stan Smith, yo, legend. Uh, sometimes, I'll go ahead and say it, sometimes American Dad is better than Family Guy. Uh, do you agree? Let me know down in the comments. But, uh, yeah, boners are definitely a sign of, uh, I, I, I wouldn't say respect. I wouldn't go that far to say boners are a sign of respect. But I would go as far to say, you know, a, uh, a boner could be a sign of, like, dominance. You know what I mean? Al alpha maleism. You know what I mean? Walk, just walk into a place with, with a big bone going. You know, and just not caring. Just letting it show. Letting everybody know. You know, what's going Definitely a sign of being an alpha male, getting boners and and just walking and not, or you can also pro probably get in, you could probably get in trouble too. So don't don't do that. Stan, you here for the, the ones I don't get to chump? That's right. Lazy Haley joined the census, and now she's gonna crank some numbers. Yeah, right. You're gonna crank numbers? That sounds really cool. I wish, I wish I said that. I did say it. Wow. I'm the one who's gonna crank numbers. You're not gonna crank shit, old man. Old man? <laughs> oh, ho, ho. I'm gonna crank all sorts of numbers. Yeah, well, I'm gonna crank your whole world. I'm gonna crank it up. I'm gonna crank it down. I'm gonna crank it all around. I'm gonna roast you for Cranksgiving dinner and then roll right into Christmas with the cranks. Not gonna matter, because I'm the New York Crankies. I'm Crank Air. I'm Crank Azaria. I'm Cranklin and Bash. <laughs> Cranklin and Bash is canceled. That's disappointing. I know, I really liked it. <laughs> I can't even repeat none of that. All that, but but for a second there, I was like, wait a minute, is he talking about cranking something else? Cranking one out, more like it. <laughs> oh God, yo, American Dad, definitely got to do more and more American Dad. I've only done like two, so <laughs> Stan Smith. Okay, so I know I asked, the, but the other question before, but with this, do you actually prefer? Who do you prefer, Peter or Stan? Let me know down in the comments. How many people live here? Me and my mom. So two. My dad. Three. Died. Two. You wasted my time a little bit. <laughs> my name is Wilbur, Kentucky. Roger. Whoa, that house looks cool. <laughs> Dude. Roger, let me know down in the comments if you think that that was actually Roger or if it was just actually Wilbur from Kentucky <laughs> or Wilbur, Kentucky. <laughs> that was tough. Like, even me, he's like, Roger? That that was good. Cool, because I haven't counted it yet. <laughs> I'm gonna count a bunch of motherfuckers in here. Stan Smith, census enumerator. Prepare to be counted. No. <laughs> oh. Le okay. Okay. <laughs> Oh god, he's gonna count so many MFers in there right now. <laughs> but let yo, I've never actually had a person come to my door and try and do the census. You know what I'm saying? Um, ha ha has anyone ever actually came to your door to get a census? Never seen it happen in my 27 years of living. Let me know down below and let me know, did you slam the door in their face or did you actually give them the census? Drop it down below. All right, let's start by getting the grime off the old cheeks. Dab, dab, dab. Nope, <laughs> nope, smudging just a little bit. No problem, no problem. Just need to even it out. Easy, easy. Okay, now that's really starting to smear. Well, I can just freehand that jawline back into shape. Hmm. Might as well really get in there with some 409, man, and... 
There goes the face. That's okay. That's okay. Gotta get worse before it gets better. Let's get the old Brillo pad in on the action. Okay. Think we're getting back on track now. <laughs> Dad, you... <laughs> that shouldn't have been as funny as it is, but it was kind of funny. <laughs> a Brillo pad. Anybody out there that used a Brillo pad knows that is not going to help a painting of any kind, <laughs> graffiti or not. <laughs> oh, God, that's funny. You look nervous. Did everything turn out okay with the mural? What? Yeah. I, I mean, yeah. Yeah, I think so. I think. I mean, yeah, sure. Yeah, turned out great. Why? I mean, definitely. What's up? Haley? Sugar Blossom? Pumpkin Dumpling? Daddy's Little Sugar Frosted Raspberry Maple Fritter? Leave me alone! <laughs> Haley, honey, you were right. It's time I finally did the one simple thing I should have done from the very beginning, and Ether says what? <laughs> Yo! Ether says what? That is so dark. <laughs> But you never know a Stan Smith man, a CIA agent. You know what I'm saying? I mean, think about it. If your dad was a CIA agent, I mean, he's probably the dumbest CEI. C CEI, what? <laughs> CEI. <laughs> Make an acronym up for CEI down in the comments. Like, whatever you can think of, whatever department it could be for, just any CEI, <laughs> drop it down below. But anyway, just imagine if your dad was a CIA agent. You wouldn't be getting away with anything. I would hate my life, seriously. Don't worry, baby girl. You'll be able to show your face again. Once you have a new face. I've seen Dr. Weitzman do this tons of times at work. How hard can it be? All right, let's start by reshaping the old eyes. Tap, tap, tap. Oop, oop, eyeballs bulge in just a bit. No problem, no problem. Just need to even it out. Easy, easy. Oh! Okay, that one really came out. <laughs> Yo. Well, might as well really get in there with a the scalpel then, and uh, there goes the face. That's okay, that's okay. Son! No! <laughs> she is dead. She is deceased. She is no longer with us, okay? She's up there with Tupac and Biggie. You know what I'm talking about? Kicking it. With, kicking it with the homies. <laughs> Son, Stan, what are you doing? Gotta get worse before it gets better. Let's get the old Brillo pad in on the action. Oh. <laughs> oh, going back to the Brillo pad. And I'm going to start using that one. Well, you know what they say? It's got to get worse before it can get better. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually going to make that my Twitter status after this video. Go follow me on Twitter if you haven't yet. It's very entertaining. I post whatever comes up to my brain. And, then you know, I, I ask the real important questions. So the link is in the description. Follow me on Twitter. You will not regret it. Okay. I think we're getting back on track now. <laughs> you made me a monster. <laughs> <laughs> no. Is the right hat. Is that Eva Marie Saint standing in my garage? <laughs> How could you do this to me? I I need to get away from the town. I need to get away from you. <laughs> Yo, I'm sorry. She looks like one of the people from Hills Have Eyes. <laughs> She looks like Sloth from the Goonies. <laughs> this one really isn't funny, but it's dark, and I have a dark sense of humor, so I'm going to say it anyway. She looks like the Elephant Man. <laughs> if you guys know who the Elephant Man was, it's a sad story, but I'm sorry. She looks like the Elephant Man. <laughs> That is the epitome of if you fell down the ugly tree and hit every branch on the way down. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Best, yo, roast Haley in the comments. Roast her in the comments, yo. The best ones are getting pinned. <laughs> Let's go. Hey, Dad. Uh, here's your sandwich with exactly as much extra ham as it's supposed to have. Let's see if it's as shiny as you say. Yo! If it's as wet as it is shiny, then we've got something here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Very. 
very nice. Your office is. Right. Now, Haley, I'm still thrilled to eat the sandwich, but can you tell me a little bit about why this is happening? <laughs> <laughs> are you eating that sandwich are you eating that sandwich let me know in the comments but also another thing you need to let me know in the comments ham or turkey i kind of feel like turkey is overrated i'm tired of eating turkey at christmas and and thanksgiving i don't know why i said christmas comes first because thanksgiving is first before christmas and also that's the main one that eats the turkey but i definitely yo christmas ham Christmas ham is better than Thanksgiving ham, and you cannot debate me on this. But drop your opinions down below. That's it. When I was nine years old, I went to Globetrotters camp. I had the best month of my life, and then for no reason, they kicked me out. Wow, that's rough. But are you too upset to take a half-court shot for a lifetime supply of Little Debbie products? Give me the rock. <laughs> <laughs> Jackie Moon, he hit him with the Jackie Moon. <laughs> oh God! But yo, for a lifetime supply of Little Debbie products, I'm taking that half court shot. I don't eat sweets like that, but yo, I'm pretty sure you can pick and choose what Little Debbie products you want. Yo, some of them snack cakes are bussin', dog. Not even gonna lie, and it's not even the ones that ever. Yo, oatmeal cream pies. Get him out of here. Get him out of there. <laughs> you know, Twinkies, I do, yeah, whatever, that's hostess. You know what I'm saying. I don't care. Get him out of there. But, yo, like the white ones, they got like the little chocolate. What the hell? Why did I think of the chocolate drops on top? Fire. Let, let, what is your favorite Little Debbie snack of all time? Drop it down in the comments. I will be reading those for sure. I will judge you. I will judge you off the kind of snack cakes that you choose. If you say certain ones, I'm convinced you're a psychopath. Oh, no, they're doing the Air Bud moment. I know y'all seen Air Bud. Just go. Get out of here. Just leave. Go. I don't want you anymore. God, as a kid, yo cried so hard love air bud might cry right now <laughs> so you just said that stuff to make me go back to my dad it was the hardest thing i've ever done we all missed you so much we even tried to adopt you but Twelve black men asking for custody of a young white boy wasn't a slam dunk back then. Or even now, probably. <laughs> Guess I can say goodbye so to my separation anxiety because the Globetrotters didn't abandon me. My dad did, which is way worse, because that ain't never going away. <laughs> Doing what you're told? You're no lone wolf. Lone wolves are rebels, playing by their own rules. Look at the name I signed. Butts McButts. All I do is win, 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 no matter what. Got money on my mind, Okay, that's your shoulder. So the cucumber should be Yo. right. Oh. oh my god. I could s <laughs> I hope that is a recurring joke in American Dad. I would love it if I'm watching American Dad, because there is a new season. I don't know if it's out yet. I know they're starting to do air new episodes. Oh my god. I would love to just randomly see that every now and then like <laughs> like they did in Family Guy with the ladies and gentlemen. Mr. Conway Twitty. <laughs> please. Please, American Dad. Please, Seth McFarlane. Make that a recurring joke. Here. Stan! Huh? <laughs> Whoa, oh, son. That is not what I was trying to do. Did you talk to Steve yet? Nope. He's joined a purity group, and now I can't give him the talk even if I wanted to. What? I said, Steve is taking a pledge of abstinence. I am his knight of chastity, also his boyfriend, and I have a sword. <laughs> now, if you'll excuse me, I have to get ready for a date with my son. Oh. 
Give them the information in the. <laughs> Uh, did you guys see me? I almost took a drink of my coffee. If I would have took a drink of this coffee. Uh, <laughs> yo. Yo. Oh, my God. Oh. Whew. Let's, let's go. Space didn't safely explore those feelings because they're people. And sex is part of the human experience. Are you getting this, son? Because I think this is me giving you the talk. Steve? <laughs> <laughs> I think there's been enough talk. Get it. Mm -hmm. I can't hold out much longer, son. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> oh, Stan was out there having his kill bill moment. <laughs> Going out like a G though. Not quite. But, Dad, thanks for protecting oh. me and Shannon back there. I should have all along. I put so much pressure on having the talk. But there shouldn't be one talk. It should be talks. I may not have every answer. But if you have questions, you can always ask me. I do have one question. May I have this dance? Oh, is he going to do it? Thanks for making me horny again, Dad. Oh. <laughs> And that was some of the funniest moments from Stan Smith and American Dad. And when I tell you guys, sometimes, sometimes American Dad just be hitting a little bit more than Family Guy does. You can't tell me that's not facts. You can't tell me that's not facts. But drop down in the comments what American Dad character we need to do next. Drop it down below. And that leads me to this right here. You. Yeah, you, the person watching this video, the person watching this video, your idea could be my next video. Your reaction request could be my next video. All you gotta do is make sure you hit that subscribe button and then drop down below what it is you want me to react to. Like I said, drop that American Dad stuff. But if you can't think of any American Dad stuff or if you're just not an American Dad fan, it's okay. You can drop whatever you want. I'll be in the comments. I'll be reading. And like I always say, I want this to be a we thing and not a me thing. You feel me? Because without y'all, without y'all, I'm just staring at a screen and talking to myself before we head on up out of here time for y'all to line up line up and do two things for your boy number one i'm gonna need y'all to go ahead and hit that like button one time to help your boy do what it do and i'm gonna need y'all to go ahead and hit that subscribe button one time to help your boy do what it do and if you want to know when i'm possibly going to be doing your reaction request or if you just want to know whenever i'm dropping videos in general hit that bell if you feel like it swing the g and i'm out y'all